it was on sale uh, and it looks like a pretty uh, cool aircraft so had a bit of a fly around the other day with uh, Flick who's one of my uh, flying buddies online and I learned a few of the basic systems including how to start the aircraft um, so that's what we're going to do now we're going to start off start up taxi have a bit of a fly around and hopefully land <coughs> uh, without crashing so first things first um, I'm just going to turn on the uh, battery power and cancel the master caution and we're going to have the um, generators on and we want <coughs> we want to turn on the left and right switches we're not going to turn on the center one because we don't want to be um actually which ones do we want do we want that one just turn them on anyway hey who cares we we'll just turn everything on we'll turn everything on no matter what who cares okay uh, i'm going to pito heat on and <clears throat> right to start the engines you need to call up the ground crew using f8 and then ask for the ground air supply okay and you have to remember that when you've activated shadow play to Copy. speed ground everything back up again because it's the same keys Right, I'm just trying to work out how to turn the labels off. There we go. Alright, so it's the same key for slowing things down <coughs> as it is for starting shadow play. So, alright, so I forgot what we were doing. Right, we've got the ground, play, uh, ground air connected, so now we want to go back to the ground crew. And we want to um, request it to be applied. Chief, apply ground air supply. Copy. Okay, so now what we want to do is press and hold the start button and then just knock the... There we go, and the left engine is spooling up now. We can see the RPM dial <coughs> here. These, these are very similar to the A10, by the way. <coughs> Um, so, um, <clears throat> air speeds over here, um, ADI over here, DVI over here, angle of attack thing over here. We can uncage this while we're waiting for that. Okay, now, we could ask for air again and start up the other engine, but if you apply the brakes, we've got those mapped, and you bring up your left engine power to around about 95% then you can use the cross feeds um, to start the right engine so we'll just press and hold right engine start and then and then has that worked? yeah it does take a little while to spool up Yeah, I just knocked the. I actually just knocked the uh, right throttle um, all the way forward and then back, and that seems to have sorted it out. So now we've got both engines spooling up, and <coughs> I can bring down the uh, left engine back to normal RPMs. Okay, that was weird. I'm trying to, there we go, that, that suddenly went mad for some reason, we don't know why. Okay, so we want to turn on this thing down here. Oh, we don't need flares. Uh, it's not the 70s, haha. <laughs> Pitch dampener and your dampener make controlling a little bit easy. And we want this to go on to standby, that's going to activate this. Um, module here which is your artificial horizon it's also your radar so that will power up um, in a minute we hope 
I uh, probably want to turn this on RWR power um, what else do we need to do, oh yeah we probably want the um, oxygen on and we don't want it to 100% it's ok uh, we've got our um, cockpit light in here it's quite nice alright we've got some uh, some exterior lights on as well Okay, we can have a look at the outside of the aircraft. So we're looking really nice there. Um, we turn this on to main, that gives us our pipper. Um, we want our flaps to our auto, I think. One auto. I think there's another control on the. Uh, oh, that's a. Uh, is that it? I'm not quite sure what what auto is. I need to get them to set to auto. Air brakes will. Air brakes are actually deployed uh, when you um, when you uh, spawn, so you want to turn those off. And if you've got a Warthog Hotas, it's the same controls. I want to set flaps to auto. And I've got that. And four. How do I set them to auto? Not quite sure. Um, right, that, that's oh, that that's uh, to lift your nose where you look to make taking off a bit easier. Um, come on, where's the switch for flaps? Ah, okay, fixed. Oh. Right, so perhaps I've got to have them in a different position for no, that's just full, doesn't do anything. Oh Alright, so well, I'm not quite sure how to do this, but there is a setting apparently for... Oh, there's another setting. Two, three, one, two... Da, da, da. Flaps. Four, right, four flaps. Okay, we're going for four flaps. And we're gonna just live with the full flaps, so we'll shut the canopy now. That was a bit of faffing about, sorry about that. Okay, I think we are pretty much good to go now. So we want to have our um we wanna have our uh, usual kind of control surfaces checked. good and what we want now is to request taxi to the runway now I don't even know what channel radio we're supposed to set I don't know if it's automatically on the right channel oh, no, it's the, I'm not even sure it is what I don't know even know what airbase we're at so F10 um, sorry folks this is a bit Right, so to Bliski. Right, one three, one one three point seven megahertz. 
Um, right, so where do I? Oh, that's UHF. Hang on, what frequency am I supposed to be on? Um, how do I check the frequencies? Briefing, perhaps? Frequency. One three eight, one three eight megahertz. One three eight megahertz. Right, let's try. See if I can call air traffic control. Oh, perhaps I've got to turn it on. Uh, okay, so nothing happened at all then. F5 F1 F3 Focina, Colt 1 1, request startup. I've already started up, so. Colt 1 Yay! I'm gonna get. Okay. Wind 308 at 2 meters per second. Focina, Colt okay. 1 1, request taxi to runway. I'm just lifting my seat up. Cold one, one. Martini, clear the taxi to runway three, one. Okay, one way three, one. So I can also set my thingy to three, one. My thingy, my um, direction thingy. Three, one, zero. So that means that the runway must be start of the runway must be over there behind me okay um guess we probably want our landing taxi lights on um we want to oh yeah that's the other thing um that you want to do they don't look like a complete idiot is um this parent menu I'm trying to find things Where's the where's F eleven? F eleven. There we go. F eleven. Pressing F eleven. Parent menu. F twelve for exit. Okay, not working. So I just wanna I just wanna go go back a menu, but for some reason I can't go back a menu. Which is like really weird. Um, if I didn't know better, I'd say my my computer's crashed, but it hasn't. Lucina, Colt, one one, request takeoff. Okay, I didn't want to do that. All right, so I want a taxi now. So. Um, just throttle up a little bit and take my brakes off and it should hey, start what are you doing? oh that's the, what I meant to do yeah that's what I was meant to do was shut why can't I get out of here we go 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 F8 ground crew F5 ground air supply disconnect that's Chief, it disconnect ground air supply right. for some reason I couldn't get on my um my menus. Alright, okay, so um, you've got to press your nose wheel steering button and hold it in to uh, have the brake, the steering works working and you want to put some curves on your on your um, rudder pedals because when I first set this up there were like switches 
and it was really easy to start like a death weave during uh, takeoffs. All right, so we want to go to uh, this way. All right, so we're rolling nicely there. Don't need a lot of power to do that. There we go. Ah, it's like being, uh, like being in Thunderbirds flying this thing. It's such a cool little jet. Great sound as well from the engines. Just uh, call it the ATC. And we'll, we'll, we might as well just request the takeoff. Look, Gina, Colt, one, one, request takeoff. Oh, whoa, well, my radios have reset to a different channel. How did that happen? That is weird. Uh, where's the runway? Is this it? Yeah. Alright, let me just sort out my freaks. Okay, let's try again. No, it's it's changing back. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong, right? Um, I don't know how the radios work, so let's go and find the uh, runway. I don't think that's it. And there's left and right braking as well, so it's been very, very gentle on the controls because I haven't really had a lot of uh, experience with this aircraft and don't want to make a mess of it, so we're going to take off and just line it up. Okay, right, so we're good to go. So, just a quick check. Um, everything's good on the aircraft. And um, let's just um, take off. Okay, so throttling up with the brakes on. I'm taking it up to about 90% then off and then until it gets rolling I'm going to go to full power okay okay and I'm looking for around about 120 knots oh, I think I've was a bit fast there and I'm having to do a lot of back stick here to kind of keep it up there's my gear up and oh my flaps have gone to water that's what I wanted flaps to water so that's I must have just be like a, a thing so establish a positive rate of climb and um, I can go back from afterburners now I'm going to go back down to around about 95% power on the engines and yeah look at look we're already at uh, three and a half thousand feet try doing that in the A10 
Um, so, right, so um, I ought to have trimmed really. I don't know whether or not I've actually set the trim controls. I ought to because, um, like the Spitfire, this, this uh, aircraft wants to be trimmed. Um, I'm quite, not quite sure what you use as your visual reference to keep the nose level. At the moment I'm using the Pippa, but I have actually moved my, my seat a little bit. Um, so I've, I'm at, what, 450 knots and I'm just using the kind of the top half of the uh, aiming reticule to be my point of uh, Aim and that's given me a VVI of around about zero, so um, still gaining uh, speed here. So I'm just going to knock my throttles back to around about 85 and, and see where that kind of puts us. And that's I'm pretty much in neutral stick there, I'm just having to give it a little bit of a not a nudge forward every every so often just to keep keep it where I want. All right, I'm just going to go for a, um, just a nice level turn, 45 degree bank angle. Just using the stick to keep my um, attitude level. And it seems quite well mannered at these kind of uh, speeds. I'm just going to bank it over a little bit more and give it a bit more of a turn. And now you can start to see the bottom left, the angle of attack there is starting to climb a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to bank it all the way over and give it a good yank on the stick. See, I'm coming down with airspeed quite a bit, but that's a pretty tight turn. I'm losing some uh, altitude as well. And it's pretty sensitive, I have to say, pretty, uh, pretty sensitive. Okay, so um, I've forgotten where the airfield is, I'm pretty sure it's over there somewhere. So let's um, throttle up now. Got full burners. And I'm actually not going to fly into the sun because it's blinding me in VR. Okay, let's uh, go for around about 30 degrees. in speed now so I'm gonna push the nose down and there we go I'm needing Again, I, I want to trim trim out here because I'm needing, you know, a fair amount of back stick to just keep this straight and level. The throttle back.
idea where the airfield is. Presumably it's this way. Seems to fly pretty nice. Trying to find the airfield. I think it's over there. Yes, it's over there. Yeah, I'm look. I'm looking for that lake, basically. So what am I at? I'm at twenty-two thousand feet. Let's see uh, if I can get some good speed up in the descent. Absolutely full chat on both throttles now. Just drop the nose a little bit more. I think I'm approaching that red marker there is full speed for this aircraft. I don't want to test the flight model too much. I'm going to throttle back. Alright, I'm going to try and come in for a landing now. I'm going for that airstrip. The one over there in the distance. Is that the one? No, I'm not going to. No, no, no. Which one is it? Which one is it? I think it is that one. And we're going to land um, heading 310, so we'll, we'll have to kind of do a turn. Is it that one? Is it that one? I think it's that one. It's the one with all the all the lights on it, which I now can't see. So we're going to contact the air traffic control. Lokachina, Colt 1 1, inbound. Colt 1 1, Lokachina, fly heading 139, 47, QFE 28.55, runway 31, 
Okay, that'll... So, I'm gonna... There we go. Yeah. Alright, so... I just want to set up for my landing, so what altitude am I at? So I'm a bit high, so I'm going to drop down to... and about uh, two and a half thousand feet. It's quite responsive. Um, I haven't had to use the air brakes yet. Right. And we're going to uh, turn onto the uh, runway. Let's do a nice sharp turn. There we go. Okay, throttling back. The flaps are on automatic, so hopefully it's going to figure out that I'm going to be coming in for a landing. Drop my gear. Probably a bit on the fast side for dropping landing gear, but still. And I am going to uh, deploy my air brakes. Just for a couple of seconds. All right, this is a nice um, approach angle. Just feeding the power back in. And off the throttles. nice and then oh perhaps not I think I've uh, lost my nose wheels yeah yeah I think I did that on takeoff and uh, okay Yeah, it looks like my uh, my gear stuff. Weird. Okay. Well, should we try that again? Um, what we'll do is we'll just do a. Uh, we won't go through the startup again. We'll just do um, a takeoff and uh, a landing. Let's see. Uh, See if I can do it without being in the aircraft. All right, so we're all set up um, as we should be. And check that my air brakes are not deployed. Turn off the stupid labels that DCS wants to put on for me. Okay, let's go to Okay. Okay, and then we want to Yeah, don't hang about basically. I think um, I took too long to kind of get the nose up in the air before. Oh, where are we? We must be at um, Batumi. Didn't even bother to notice. 
and so yet now the trim is like really a lot different obviously the takeoff trim is, is set so I'm having to force the stick foot forward to kind of get the nose down I'm just going to drop the power and I really wanted to um, I really need to sort the trim out here the uh, elevator trim because if I let go of the stick I'm going right up in the air let's just do that now let's go into adjust controls axis commands Uh, rudder trim now, don't want that. Have we got one for trim? Newt might have to search for trim. Trim. AI process, aileron trimmer, switch, joystick, autog. Left wing down. Okay. Right wing down. Okay. 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 Right, that doesn't look right to me. Let's clear it. Oh, I'm rubbish at this sort of stuff. Should have a plan really before I make videos. Okay, and what's just happened? And that was weird. That was very weird. Okay, left. Wing down, okay, right wing down, okay, elevator, right, elevator, elevator, Trimming switch pull. Okay. 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 Whoa. Calm down. I am having to put a lot of trim in here. That's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right then, let's go and have a fly around over Batumi. Wow, we're a long way away already. It's nice to be able to get places quickly. Dodge airborne. Wizard passing waypoint two at thirty thousand. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and fly down the uh, the river valley. We'll try.
probably want, don't want to do it at like full speed but um, yeah I was flying this when I first flew it without turning the dampening controls on and it was twitchy and it feels like quite controllable now although for some reason the the trim was all over the place when I first got in the aircraft someone's taking off there thousand feet then. Don't you realise how uh, easy having the total velocity vector indicator in the A A10 makes just straightforward things like flying straight and level. Well, I'll put that a bit fine. This is a very cool plane. It was this or the F86 or the MiG in the sail and I just thought this just looked so um, space age and, and like a dart. Just flying it around for the for the fun of it. I haven't tried weapons deployment or anything like that yet but Let's see if we can head back. I think it's this way. Check the map. Me. No, going completely the wrong way. See if I can pull a loop. Passing waypoint three at five thousand. Pretty sure the river's down there. Okay, so we're going to follow the uh, valley back, but, but at a bit higher altitude, and we'll have a go at landing again. The tomb should be over there.
yeah it's a lot of fun you can see me spending some time le learning the ins and outs of this jet cockpit's beautiful Turn the uh, lights on a bit actually. Wow, that looks good, doesn't it? This one's got its own uh, lighting lighting panel, which is. There we go. Okay, so where's Batumi? speed yeah that's between me all right so let's go and fly out to sea and then turn in Pattern altitude should be two and a half thousand feet. I don't know if anybody else is having the same problem, but I am totally unable to get into multiplayer at the moment. I don't know whether it's uh, the latest update that's caused it. Another aircraft up there. What did he say? Did he say uh, runway 31? I can't remember. But I, I can see it's a VFR, so it's not like I need to. Uh... Check. Okay, that'll do. And start to turn in. Using the VR zoom a bit here. Over, over, did it, did it a little bit. That's not too bad. Okay. All right. So, F1. Request landing. So the gear down. Breaks out. Put me pipper on the end of the runway. I'm just trimming a little bit, bit of back stick here.
I'm using my throttles to control my rate of descent. That's a nice, a nicer touchdown than the one before. Deploy my chutes, put my brakes on. Just get a bit of nose wheel steering in. Okay. So le left a bit of a skid mark there. And not for the first time I hear you say yes, very funny. Right, uh, how do I get to the parking area? Am I going to have to turn around? Alright, so that's it for today. Hope that's uh, recorded.